Hello, my name is Sean Congemma, and I have been a member of the American Coaster Enthusiast for the past three years. If you are a new member, congratulations on being part of the largest roller coaster enthusiast club in the nation. If you are interested in being a part of our vast club, I am happy to share some more information that you will surely enjoy. Today I am going to teach you more about the ways that we communicate as a group. The American Coaster Enthusiasts are a national organization that provides a great sense of community, whether that be in person or from the comfort of your own couch. I will show you the benefits of each, along with some short stories of some of the experiences that I've had in the past. One of the biggest advantages of being a member of the American Coaster Enthusiasts is gaining access to the numerous Ace and Amusement Park events held each year. There is always some type of event going on throughout the year. Even if you are not sure, there is a section on the Ace website dedicated to events. In fact, some of them may be close to where you live. I am a part of the Ace New York City region, which allows me to attend many events in the tri-state area. These events provide some of the best communication the club has to offer. You can meet other enthusiasts who are just like you. I'm surprised each time I attend an event to find strangers quickly talking to one another, despite never meeting in the past. There are also many activities planned during these events that strengthen the bonds between members. The best way I can describe these activities is by talking about an ACE event. The one I'll be using as an example for this video is Riding of the Bull, an annual park event held at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. At the beginning of the ACE event, each member greets one another before the event officially begins. There are chances for us to ride different rides together, including the roller coasters that we love. While members wait in lines, there is constant discussion between statistics and coaster counts. The statistics relate to the different facts known about a certain ride. Members will constantly test one another to see who has the most well-rounded knowledge. Coaster counts refer to the amount of different roller coasters ridden. A number signifies the amount of experience a person has riding coasters. However, my favorite part of these events involves the dining. During Riding of the Bull, we are given a catered meal where we can sit and eat with other enthusiasts. The amount of communication between members increases during these meals, just like a family dinner. It is a great way to end a fun-filled day at a park. While the ACE events are the biggest sources of communication in the group, there are still plenty of chances to meet and discover enthusiasts outside of the amusement parks. The American Coaster Enthusiasts have numerous social media accounts, including a YouTube channel where a member can find longer and more developed content. Each region also has a Facebook account, ensuring that the region a member belongs to is actively communicating. There are forums designed for members to communicate to one another, or you could just write something on your profile wall. The forums can be accessed from the ACE website. Just scroll down to the Community tab and you can discuss any topic you want. The American Coaster Enthusiasts are always willing to experiment with different forms of communication. The club introduced a podcast that is widely available and free to listen to. The podcast is called Ride With Us and is about reporting recent news stories in the amusement park industry. This keeps all members well informed with current events. The club is communicating the news directly to its listeners. There are countless ways to communicate to members. Just because attending events and being on social media are some of the more popular options, it does not mean that a member cannot come up with different ways to communicate. That is all I've got to say in this video. If you want to learn more, you can go on the American Coaster Enthusiasts website, where there will be an answer to your frequently asked questions. I hope that my information was useful for our new and upcoming members. See you in the parks!